Me and, me and him called. Uh, that's the thing. There ain't no rust on it, so it could definitely be used again. And those are considered AK-47s? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is Exploring with the Nug. My name is Jeremy, and today we're back at it again. We're scuba diving underneath another bridge to see what we can find. Okay, it is super noisy in this one spot, so I'm gonna try to speak up for you guys, but we are underneath the interstate. There's like four lanes of traffic, maybe even six lanes of traffic above us screaming by. Who knows what stuff people are throwing off of here. Let me show you what we're looking at. Water doesn't look too bad. It's always been, it's been better, obviously, but we got a couple feet of visibility that's more than enough to find something amazing out here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start hunting the water, see if we can find any amazing treasures, pick up some trash along the way, and there is a ton of it out here. So we definitely gotta put a dent in that. And you know what? We're gonna take you along for the ride. Today I'm diving with Adam from Adam Brown Adventures. He's gonna be in the water with me. We're gonna team up, we're gonna find something amazing. Let's go get the gear on and I will meet you in the water. All right, we made it down to the water. He's already gonna leave and go find all the guns without me. All the good stuff. Oh, you're all foggy. That don't work. <laughs> now you gotta go blind. Ah, one up for Jeremy. Get some. Woo! All right, have fun. Oh no!
There's a bird. Yeah, okay. Oh, there it is. current is so strong but I did find some pretty cool things and one super awesome thing so let's get back up to the car get all this crazy gear off go over the finds of the day all right brother from another mother what did you find today and we might as well start with the normal stuff and work our way up to the awesome stuff and the terrifying stuff yeah, then we then we got to go down and look at something that's impromptu terrifying stuff. Speaking of terrifying, check this out. Oh, wow, that's that, crazy. It's like the thing from Toy Story, the robot, the spider baby. Yeah, it's the muscle. Sid, yeah, that, that was creepy. I found a bunch of crazy stuff today, man. Like, check this out. Found an actual trumpet. Like, of all the things that I would have never guessed to be in the river, that's definitely one of them, a trumpet. Like, somebody must have really hated playing the trumpet. They were like, you know what? Screw this, I'm done with it. Chuck it in the river. And you found that way downstream, yeah, too. Yeah, man, it must have hit a rock or something. That's crazy. Well, I found a bunch of other stuff, including what we're gonna have to call the police. Check it out, an AK-47. That is nuts, what's left of it anyways. It's missing a lot of pieces in the big uh, the clip or magazine. Which one is it? it uh, I, mm, magazine, I think. Magazine. magazine. So, uh, yeah, that is insane. And I kind of held that. I didn't want to tell you. Kind of surprised you with this one, didn't I? Yeah, that's nuts. You heard him correctly. He said AK-47, and he's not lying. Let's look at some little details on this gun part that tells us that it really is an AK-47. Check it out. Dude, to start things off, if you look really close right here, I don't even know what it says. Cal Georgia VT Rome Arm Cougar. I don't know what any of that means, but down here it says made in Romania. And then we flip it over on the other side. And this is kind of what gives it away. If you look right here, it says Micro Draco 7.6 to 39 millimeter. There's the serial number, which is, I mean, it's its in great condition. Nothing is seized up. So sure enough, I got on the wonderful world of Google and Googled Micro Draco, and wouldn't you know it, this gun popped up and it says AK-47 pistol. Now the only things missing from this are a couple parts that I don't know, except for the magazine. And then there's something that goes on top, like the firing mechanism or something like that and uh, the grip, the little wooden grip. 
So technically, you could buy these parts online right now, and we would have ourselves a legit ghost gun, I think. Now, obviously, if I don't know what I'm talking about and you guys think I'm crazy, just comment below, correct me. We all work together on this. We're a team, right? We're a team. Besides the gun, I mean, he found, like, he, we already talked about the trumpet. He found himself a little toy gun, golf ball, a little bit of, little, I guess, jewelry. What, what do you call that? And look at this. He found a GoPro 9. Oh, my gosh. No, I'm just kidding. He didn't find that. He found himself a Game Boy, though, also. Pretty cool finds. An empty purse. That's pretty cool, too. Believe it or not, all that stuff that I just talked about is uh, not what the craziest thing that happened. Let's walk down the hill because I got to show you something that you cannot make up. Okay, so we was down here a little bit ago, and we was filming for Adam because he found this uh, change box. You know, you put the dollars in, it gives you quarters. Well, that's what that is, and it's empty, of course. Looks like somebody broke into it, stole all the money, and threw that down here. While we were sitting here talking about the change box, we see up here a black, bo uh, a black bag just got thrown off the bridge and then hit the water pretty hard. Adam swam out, grabbed the bag, and pulled it back in. And that's what that is right here. Obviously, before I show you what was in the bag, I'm gonna tell you ahead of time, I'm gonna blur it out because it is pretty graphic and I don't wanna make anybody mad. That box was in the bag and we took it out and looked. And uh, I'm sorry, it smells so bad, but if you get really close, you can see the maggots. You can see, it's just horrible. There's flies everywhere. Check this out. It's a severed goat head, dude. Is that not the worst thing you've ever seen? I mean, that's really bad. And there's another one in the box. Somebody just drove by and threw that off the bridge into the water, which is just horrible. I cannot believe we just witnessed what we just witnessed. I mean, we were just standing here and they threw a bag over and we're just like shocked, like, what is that? And our first thought is, let's try to get that out of the river. It might be like, a bag full of like a, a kittens. kittens or a dog. <laughs> I, so I swam out there and grabbed it. You know, it could have been anything. It could have been needles. I probably should have gone for more, but the current was going down and I, I didn't want to miss my chance. So I grabbed it. And I can't believe it's a, a bag of severed goat heads. A little bit disturbing. That is so nasty. Now I know it is a, it's some kind of religious thing. You, you, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's some kind of religious thing. We'll just go with that. Um, I have looked this up because we did find all those dead goats at the bridge a while back. Uh, I believe the religion is called uh, Santeria. I know nothing about that religion. But what I do know is I don't like finding dead goats and severed heads in the river. So it's pretty disturbing and uh, I could do without that part of the day. As for the gun. What we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna leave this spot and go down the road where it's quieter, because this is a really sketchy spot that we're in. If you can't tell, we're underneath a big bridge and kind of the middle of nowhere, kind of spooky. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down the road to a nice safe parking lot, gonna give the police a call. Now, I wanna tell you guys right now, I know you're getting tired of the police videos and calling cops over everything. This, however, is a legit serial number, okay? It's not rusty, this thing can be used again. Who knows who had it before? So obviously we want to give it to the cops. You can't hate on us for this particular fine wanting to give it to the cops. So, let's do that right now. Cobb County Police and Fire. Hey, how you doing? I would, I'm wondering if you could send a cop my way. Uh, we were scuba diving in the river again and it looks like we found ourselves a, uh, it's, and it looks like, I looked it up online and it says Mini Draco AK-47. Uh, it is a light blue Ford F-150. It's got a white camper shell on it. It's pretty ugly and noticeable. There you go. There you go. Cops are on the way again. And for some reason, I have this gut feeling. But we're not doing anything stupid we're this not, time. No. This, this is protocol. If there's no bullets. There's no way it could fire. It's not dangerous. Yeah, it's not dangerous. It's da just it's, basically it is, a paperweight. It's part it of a gun a, that could be seriously yeah. dangerous. So It has a serial number on it. So anytime that happens and it's not corroded, we're going to call it in. Man, dude, you are sleeved up. Thanks. Holy sh**. That is really good. Who's so, uh, Jeremy? I'm Jeremy. I, me, me and him called. Yeah, yeah. So uh, scuba diving. That's the thing. And it looks like it has a serial number on it. 
It's missing parts, but I mean, yeah. there ain't no rust on it, so it could definitely so, be used again. I figured we'd just call you guys. Number didn't come back anything? No. Darn. It's not something I could keep, is it? No. No. I didn't think so. I just figured <laughs> I'd have to ask. Yeah, we're going to destroy it. Okay. All right, guys, well, I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah man. Thank, thank you. Coming out. Um, I mean, just let us know, and like I said, if you find this kind of stuff, you did the right thing. Okay. So we'll take it. We'll get it destroyed. Okay. Yeah, awesome. And they still wanted to leave the bombs where we found them. Don't bring them out to busy parking lots. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't speak on that. <laughs> still let us know if you find that kind of stuff. Okay. Thanks. Sounds good, man. Thanks, Thank you. Okay, guys, the cops came. The cops left again. Another cop I've never met before, but super cool cop, super big. That is a man right there, a chiseled specimen. <laughs> Just saying. But we didn't get in trouble. Everything worked out as planned. Awesome. Another gun off the streets. This gun could have been rebuilt and used. So we definitely got it in the right hands. Just so we know, I did pick up some trash. I got a few cans. I got this neat little, little rubber ducky thingy. And uh, that's about it with the trash. There could have been more, but whatever. Before we look at the banger find, I did want to show you guys a couple coins that I found. We got ourselves an old little piece of pottery here. I like picking those up. We got this gold washer. I don't know what was on it. It's probably one of those amusement tokens. And I got two really old, really beat up pennies. Now this one, if you flip it over and you look really close, I don't know if you can see that or not, it's a wheat penny. That's really cool. That one says 1940 on it, and I'm pretty sure this one, you can you can barely make out a date on there, but I think it says either 1935 or maybe even 1925. So even though they're in horrible shape, those are really cool finds. Now let's check out the burger find of the day. And there it is, dude. Can you believe it? I found me another gun. That one goes up on the wall of collectors. Now, I have no idea what kind of gun this is. Uh, I mean, look at this long barrel. Now, was this for a suppressor? Uh, or did, what did, what did I find, dude? Let me, let, tell me in the comments below. Now, this gun is really cool, and I'm sure you expect me to call the cops, but you know what? I am not going to call the cops, and the reason for that is this gun is in horrible shape. There are no serial numbers on it. The cops are just gonna take it and destroy it. Nothing will happen to it. No crimes will get solved. I'm keeping this gun and I'm gonna clean it up and it's gonna go on my mantelpiece. Dude, dude, I am beat, I'm tired, I'm going home. Let's let's go on another dive. <laughs> this guy's out of his mind. Until we meet again, my name is Jeremy. I will see you on the next dive. Wow!